Look, th this is an incredible find um, for Queensland, for Australia, and, and really for this local community. This is utterly unique um, to science to find this variety of plants and animals uh, that were all alive and co coexisting 50 million years ago is phenomenal. Um, it will put uh, it will put Gberg on the map geologically um, around the world. There'll be a lot of international interest in in these fossils that have been found. It's after um, the extinction that killed off all the dinosaurs, and it's really a bit of a missing gap in the scientific record about how, um, how animals evolved after that massive extinction that killed off the majority of animals on the planet. And this is a snapshot back in time, 50 million years ago, when this was tropical rainforest, much wa warmer and wetter than it is today, um, to a time period that we really know very little about. There's nowhere else that has this variety of material uh, and some really exciting stuff to come out. And we have just got the tip of the iceberg. In the whole of North Australia, this is absolutely unique. And depending on what we find, because we're just at the very beginning of this project, depending on what we find, this could be unique in the world. This could be some of the earliest mammals ever found. We've got, uh, we've got different kinds of plant and pollen, um, which is incredibly important, really unusual. And very often, bones are more easy to preserve in the fossil record than plants and pollen. They, they tend to, uh, to disintegrate over time. So we've got, we've got the whole range from an ecosystem. So we've got an, a number of plants and pollen. We've certainly got fish, um, different kinds of possibly freshwater fish, something like a, a perch. Um, there's a frog, what we believe to be a, the leg bone of a frog. Um, there's, uh, there's shell material. But this is just the beginning. This material has only just been found literally in the last few weeks. So there's a huge amount of work to do.